Right now, I'm in Ishou University, which is located in Taiwan as an exchange student. And I'm right now in the sophomore year in my department, International Finance. So through this video, I'm going to show you one of my class information system for business. I'm going to show you the facilities and my teachers and some other stuff we learn. So this is my information system for business class look like. In this room, we got 70 computers so we don't have to worry if the computers aren't enough. They also provide two monitors to hang to show while it's our lecturer showing in front. Lecturer will use the microphone in front to talk in case students behind couldn't hear her. We were never afraid if we couldn't hear anything because we got eight speakers in the room. My class had 42 students, which is all freshmen except me. And since the department I'm taking is international finance, for the whole courses, lecturer communicate with us using English and always encourage us to use English. If we don't understand the words she use, we can ask and she will explain to us patiently. My lecturer, Mrs. Shia Dang Yu, she is kind and tolerant. Whenever she teach us something new, and if we don't understand, she will come beside us and explain how to do it. She is also a punctual teacher and always on time for teaching at 9.20. Now I'm gonna explain to you about Moodle. Moodle works almost the same like in Moodle which we use in Universitas International Bottom. Moodle, we can log in with our student ID and our own password. From this, we can log in to do our homework which our lecturers give us and our lecturer can check out and give us grades from here. So this is the web of the Moodle. We can log in. We can check it by issue.edu.taiwan. And then you can go to the current students. From the below part, you can check out my ISO. There, you can see the Buddha learning system. Click on it. And on the left side, we can see login username. The username, you can type your student ID and then your password. For the language, if you can't understand Chinese or you can't understand English, you can change it from the upper part right side. After you log in, you can see all the courses that you take on that semester. Okay, so we can try to log into the information system. From here, you can look out that my lecturer gave me the materials for each meeting we had. And then we can just assignments and access names, discussions and contact information. Jadi melalui video ini kamu sudah bisa mengetahui salah satu keuntungan untuk mengikuti program transfer kredit luar negeri. Dengan program ini juga kamu bisa bertambah kesempatanmu untuk berinteraksi dengan orang-orang yang dari luar negeri sehingga bisa berkembang kepercayaan diri. Dan juga saya mengucapkan terima kasih kepada Direktur Perpelajaran Kemeristik atas kesempatan yang diberikannya.